This weird week, we've got a cat with frequent flyer miles, a teen that gets a little more than he bargained for at a family dollar, and a confused news station. As Michael Buffer says, let's get ready to weird! A seven-year-old Persian cat named Bisu normally lives in Cairo. Well, then how did she end up in England? Bisu's owner, Mervat Siuti, was packing for her flight from Cairo to London when Bisu the cat found a comfortable place inside Mervat's luggage. The only problem, Mervat didn't know she was in there. Well, that shouldn't be so bad. You know, airport security could catch a living cat inside someone's luggage, right? Nope, not Bisu. The bag Bisu was in went right on the plane. I am so jealous of that cat. How come Bisu the cat doesn't have to take off her shoes when she gets on the plane? After the four hour flight, Mervat was in a cab on the M1 when she got a panicked call from home. Figuring out what might have happened, Mervat feared Bisu would be dead inside her luggage. The cab driver, being a proper English gentleman, pulled the cab over and went through the shaken woman's luggage, telling her not to look. But Bisu wasn't dead. She was scared and confused and probably a little jet lagged, but Bisu is perfectly healthy. That's not the end of Bisu's adventure though. Mervat, doing the right thing, told authorities she had accidentally brought her cat to England. The queen, taking a hard line on animal smuggling, sentenced Mervat and Bisu to death. Just kidding, authorities aren't pressing charges, but Bisu does have to spend six months in quarantine where she's being cared for by this man. Hi, my name's Mike. He's Mike, and he owns the Caligran Kettles and Cattery in Chesterfield where Bisu is staying. I've been doing this 24 years, and I have to say this is the first time that I've heard of an animal stowing away in a suitcase. Hey, thanks, Mike. My name's Mike. Yeah, we know. Get back to petting that cat. Hey, we're glad everything ended up okay, but a warning to you pet lovers out there, hiding a cat in your suitcase and putting it on a plane is dangerous, so please don't try it. Also, airport security in Cairo, suitcases are not supposed to meow. Get it together. Puddle jumping was one of my favorite activities as a kid. In a new YouTube video that's quickly going viral, one 17-year-old gets way more puddle than he bargained for. All right. Lakeem in his nice shoes about to jump in this puddle. I, I do it for the kids. The video is titled, My Friend Almost Drowns at Family Dollar, and was uploaded by user AconTPain17. Now here's a question. Were there 16 other Akon T-Pains already on YouTube? The star of the video is Lakeem. He's 17 and he has nice shoes. And according to the video's description, his friends, who later laughed sadistically at him, gave him a dollar to jump in the puddle. Normally, I would tell Lakeem, if he's gonna ruin his nice shoes, maybe he should get more than a dollar. But he is at Family Dollar, and you can stretch a lot for a little there. He could probably buy a towel for really cheap. Lakeem in classic fashion says, I do it for the kids, and bravely jumps into the puddle, just like Neil Armstrong did. I do it for the kids. Lakeem is a hero, guys. He really is. Akon T-Pain 17 claims he and his friends didn't know the puddle was that deep, and that it was all in good fun. And it sort of is. We here at Broken News wish they were a little less foul-mouthed about the whole thing, but all in all, everyone ended up okay, and even Lakeem seems to be having a pretty good laugh about it. One thing I will say though, if your YouTube name is Akon T Pain 17, why didn't you auto tune the video? Danish news station TV2 has apologized after using an image from the video game Assassin's Creed in a news report about Syria. The report, which was about the ongoing conflicts in Syria, showed what the station thought was a photograph of the skyline of Damascus behind anchor Sicily Beck which they were sort of half right, I guess. The image was indeed Damascus. It's just Damascus from 720 years ago from the six-year-old video game Assassin's Creed. Hopefully the news story on the conflicts wasn't about how Syrians mashed the B button to counterattack during the multiple sword fights they're always getting into. The channel's head of news, Jacob Nybro, learned of the mistake when the improper use of the image was shared through social networks. He apologized for what he called a clear-cut error and said it was a reminder to us all of the importance of verifying the sources of pictures. Cool story, Nybro. The image of Damascus was taken off YouTube and would have been an even more serious issue had it been taken directly from the game itself. But this is a good reminder to all news outlets. You can't believe everything you see on the internet.
Wait, this just in, a giant monkey has kidnapped a woman at a construction site. We go live now to the scene. Thanks, Brian. This is incredible. A plumber is trying to save the woman, and the monkey is throwing barrels. We'll keep you updated as more news breaks. Let's go to Cameron Edmondson with sports. I'm here at the U.S. Tennis Open as Serena Williams is just dominating from the right side. That's it for today, and remember, like Neil Young always said, keep on rocking in the weird world. <laughs>